What a surprise! Two episodes released back to back. I'm a little late, but don't worry. We're gonna cover it all. First episode did pretty decent. If you guys keep loving this show, we can watch it all so far. The premise of the show, pretty interesting. Mao, not Demon Lord, Arc Demon. There's like 13 Arc Demons or some stuff. Zagan, the Virgin, 18 years old, bought an elf slave, and he's like trying to be cool and be like, shit, how do I talk to her? And every time he speaks, it sounds so cold and rude. And she's like, okay, I'll just kill myself. The running gag is kind of funny, right? It also seems to be like a wholesome, cute, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know if it's wholesome. She did lift her fucking panties up and say, I'm a virgin. But it's looking like a fun rom-com to watch. And I hope there's some cool action scenes too. Let's begin episode two. Hmm? She slept on the fucking cold ground beside you? What are, you, what are you trying to do, bro? What are you gonna do, huh? She's a slave. She's gotta be like our maid, right? Is he gonna cook for her? Well, I even made a bed. What the f- What the fuck did this- <laughs> she needs to go to the fucking Olympics for the fucking folding, bro. What in the fuck? She's born for this. She is born for this. Yes. Hello. 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 He's gonna ruin it. He's gonna fucking ruin it. What are you gonna say? <laughs> so cold! What are you- Bro, come on! First love with social anxiety tastes a lot like moldy bread. Awkward. Are they just eating rations? Doesn't look very good, huh? The fact that you're eating slave food. Oh! <laughs> well, yeah. And she's saying like you should eat better food. Yeah, it's like rations, bro. It's just pretty much pig slop. Hmm. I can change him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just beef jerky and moldy bread for fucking 18 years, bro. How is he still alive? Actually, when you're young like that, right, you can eat that shit. But once you get into your 20s, right, <laughs> your body gets to get older. You gotta actually fucking fix your shit. But until now, it's fine. It's fine. Like, kids fucking grow up drinking fucking, fucking Slurpees and fucking Sunderland candies and monster drinks. That's all they fucking eat, bro. <laughs> Normal people eat food. <laughs> can she cook? <laughs> can she cook? <laughs> <laughs> Homemade cooking? She's gonna make bento for me? <laughs> she just gotta wear only the apron and he's gonna go fucking crazy. Let's go hunt some ingredients. Oh, we have no money at all, right? So we're broke. Bro, at least give her a piggyback, man. Can't even fucking afford a three bronze coppers or whatever. Yeah, there's so much random equipment back home. That would have been fucking wrong. Imagine he did this shit in front of Nephi. Nephi would have probably been too scared, right? So maybe he's gonna be let ruthless because of Nephi. Because it's like, oh no, if I do this, how is she gonna, you know, see me? Yeah. Exactly. Maybe she'd like it. Honestly, yeah. Bald! Alright. Easy. Save the cat. We get gold free ride. Easy. Save him, bro. You're just gonna watch it happen? Okay. Go, go, go. Maybe. Maybe a little bit of trauma. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what if that fucking traumatizes her? Cause like she fucking got captured by like an electric shock or something. 
They need to rest. It's like a cool down. Oh, just watch. <laughs> Yo, he's fucking strong. What is this? Like reinforcement magic? How the fuck is bro so strong eating fucking beef jerky and moldy bread for 18 fucking years? That was just physical strength, right? Oh, Danna's a sorcerer. Danna is fucking locked in. I doubt it. Like, I don't think this is gonna work like you think, bro. He's killing his own men. What? Your battery run out? What do you mean? Okay, bro. He just takes it? I don't see his body anymore. I think it literally disintegrated. Wonder what Nephi thinks. Is Nephi impressed or is she scared? Uh, I am not sure. What does that look? Is it? Uh, she's shocked. The good way or she's scared. Uh, everything's good at the end of the day. There are good sorcerers too. Sorcery just seems like such a evil thing in this world, huh? And even like all the arc demons, right? The 13 arc demons, they were all sorcerers, right? And sorcery was all about just like pursuit of magic in this world. You sacrifice everything for the pursuit of magic, so sorcery is pretty much akin to just like evil people in this world, huh? Great, we got a job as a bodyguard. We, we need the money, yes, let's do it. Bodyguard. Sorcerers, the bad guys who are being hunted. Hunted by who? Did, was it? Ah, shit, I forget. Did they mention something about a church? Oh. They'll be like the first sorcerer to be loved by the people. To flex on you, I guess, kind of. She, he just wanted to just be like, oh, Nephi seems shocked, right? This must be how she got kidnapped. Let's fucking riz her up by killing these bandits. Yeah, you got nothing to fear except me, I guess. Don't ruin it, bro. <laughs> what were these cliche lines? I did it to protect you, Nephi. I can't abandon the weak when they're in need. I don't think these lines would go too well. It sounds kind of cringe, but I feel like he's going to fucking ruin it. That's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> you tell me, bro. Bro's gone to Alpha Boot Camp too fucking much. He bought Nephi for 1 million gold? Where happens to all the other gold, bro? Fuck, bro fucking bought the Alpha Boot Camp fucking lessons, and this is where he learned all the lines. That's right, we're here to fucking get groceries to cook. Uh, stuff. You need to spoil her. Oh, Nephi got lost! Look at her walking slowly, lifting her skirt. She's so cute. The girl in the opening. Immediately scared of sorcery? What's she gonna wear? So, in real... Not, I'm gonna say real life, but like in this place, right? Slaves, like... They have a chain attached to the collar, right? That was like a big thing. Do most people have slaves still have the chain attached? Is that why she saw that collar and saw it was like released? So she's like, oh, maybe this guy's actually a good person. Or do every slave just all have the collars? And she just saw the collar and she's like, oh, I feel bad for the elf. Let me, let me get you something nice. Who knows? Yeah, <laughs> 
外されますと逃げられる危険がございますのでご注意くださいこういったコーディネートでしょどうジーズス Did that, did that harpy girl see the fucking collar and think that she was into BDSM, not even a slave? And you're like, oh, you're into this kinky shit. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? I mean, it's nice. Yeah, sure. Tastes! What do you think we are? <laughs> Don't lose the poor elf! <laughs> you see the pink fucking G string thing over here, bro? <laughs> Thing right over here, bro. You see this shit? Yeah, what the, what's the next one? Oh, okay, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. See? It's like a nice little maid outfit. Healing, Healing magic to limit the amount of exhaustion caused from working on your feet. That's fucking brilliant. So that if you wear those shoes, you'll never just like feel tired on your feet. That's crazy. Good. Now this bitch can work for us even more. I'm kidding. She should wear this. She she should wear this, bro. It's I don't know. Do you think that this is because not not necessarily because of Zagan's treatment towards Nephi in in the play so far, but like immediately she looked at the collar. Lack of the chain. Is that the connection here? I don't know. He cares for her because he was willing to put the chain off. Or the fact that he came to get her clothes. One or the other. Maybe it's both. Everyone is so nervous. Oh, remove it. Yeah, you're mine now. <laughs> Even her fucking elf ear blushes. That's good. Like usually it's just normal girls, you know, their their ears aren't pointing like that, so they just blush over here, but like even the tip of the hills are blushing. <laughs> the immersion. No 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 no, I think that was okay. I think that was an okay line. And source all are trapped. Oh, you try to take it off. You might actually die. Is that Arctimus still here though? Yeah. Because he's a famous sorcerer. What? Just helping like random bandits do, but they just ran off scared. <laughs> oh my god, a monster! <laughs> He's slowly gonna get everyone in here to kind of like him. Kind of, right? Because if he's by himself, everyone's scared. But like, Nephi's such a cute elf. And like, it kind of like lessens the threat. It's kind of like if you're going on a walk by yourself, if you're not that good looking, the girls might not approach you. But like, if you have a dog. If you have a dog, I'm not saying Nephi's a dog, but if you have a dog and you're walking around, like, oh, what's his name? Oh, can I take a picture? Oh, wow. You know, it's like, it's like a fucking buff, dude. Woman's touch. Look what that does. Ooh, fancy restaurant. I don't think she would. Well, where would she go to? Mm, I don't think she would have been. Ah, no, I don't think that line was too bad. <laughs> kind of, kind of, kind of cold, kind of cold, but not too cringe. See? She's smiling, she's smiling. <laughs> a book to learn how to talk to girls. Oh, no! What the fuck? 
like she doesn't know how to use a knife and fork, but these other elf kids she did because she's a slave and she had to eat moldy bread with their hands. So fucking sad, dude. Also, what the fuck? Was this the previous arc demon? These are elves too, but she's a slave here. Interesting. <laughs> She's a cursed child because she doesn't know how to use a goddamn fork and knife. No, no. But remember that plot line, right? She was a cursed child. Was their hair color all the same? I don't think so, right? They're... No, no, no. Is it the hair color? Is like a white elf supposed to be like a really bad thing? I, I don't know. It's probably her family and she's being neglected because she's a cursed child. But what is cursed exactly about her? Is it the white hair thing? White hair elf bad? I, do, I don't know. Maybe there's like a lore of like a white haired elf. It's like, oh, white haired elf, bad luck or some shit. Mm. <laughs> she doesn't know how to use a fork. <laughs> Skill issue! Skill issue! <laughs> Eating a tomato with a spoon? She doesn't know how to bite it! Oh, she bit it, she bit it. Just like the most simplest tomato so delicious because she's never gotten anything before, huh? Skill issue! Skill issue! Ah! Ah! Oh! Dozo! Indirect kiss? Already in episode two? Oh! This is so adorable. This, both sides so fucking embarrassed. We're just fucking feeding each other like the simplest fucking food, the tomato. But with the setup and with the context of knowing what these characters are about and how they got here, right? It's pretty cute. It's so wholesome. You know, it's, it's, it's nice. Would you like more? You're already so useful. You're like a good luck charm around people. Feed her. Feed her. Yeah! <laughs> you like these, right? Come on. Come on. Nom. <laughs> People are watching! <laughs> oh, this is adorable. This is actually way too adorable, dude. I think we made some progress, man. Oh, oh, this is another girl from the opening. Is she part of the church or what? No, it's the girl that we all oh, face, 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 faceless guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like we, there was a guy that was like taking people's faces, and then like we reverted her back, right? The time rewound, and then we dropped her off somewhere else because it's like if a sorcerer helps her, it looks bad. So she just got dropped off. <laughs> this guy, too. <laughs> Angelic Knights. Oh, she remembered the name. Oh, he's not too lonely anymore, but okay, here's the Pope, church people. This guy's gotta be fucking evil, bro. Sinners, huh? She's the leader of the Angelic Knights. Who are you gonna gaslight? Oh, what do you mean? Gaslighter! Show me the evidence! <laughs> what, what, what did he say? Sorcerers are wicked, even if he has no connection to these kidnappings. <laughs> so we're talking about the kidnappings, and he's like, your mission's not over yet? You gotta take out the guy of Zagan. He's like, why? W what do you mean, Denka? And he's like, well, even if he has no connection to these kidnapping, still evil. You gotta go kill him. It's like, just... <laughs> what the fuck does Zagan do to the church? Wonder why he hates him. But why is Zagan specifically? <laughs> Oh, look at that Kushida face change. Chastiru Rirkubisto, Maiden of the Sacred Sword. She's gotta be fucking busted, huh? And that's it. What an episode, man. Like, this is, <laughs> this is pretty peak. Like, think about this. Like, what really happened, right? What really happened? We fucking fed each other tomato in a tavern. But, like, it was so peak because of the setup. Because of 
what these characters are about. Zagan, this loner, fucking, you know, fucking eating beef jerky and fucking moldy bread all his life. Grew up alone. You got Nephi, cursed child as a slave. And now it's like they're trying to get to know each other. And then, you know, there's some blushing. It's like a first time thing for everything. And the tavern people are like laughing because it's so cute, you know, seeing two, like, you know, not a newlywed, but it's like, you know, two new, like, boyfriend and girlfriend, like, first week of dating. And it's like, you know, they're doing all of these like, cutesy shit. It's pretty cool. Pretty nice. Really nice rom com we got going on here. And the plot? Kind of getting thick, right? I mean, the obviously, it's not an isekai. Well, it's not an isekai show, but this could be an isekai world. And an isekai world, church usually always bad. Bro is like, <laughs> good job for taking out the uh, the kidnapper. But there's one more person you gotta kill. Who is it? Zagon. Who did he kidnap? Nobody. Still gotta kill him. Church hates Zagon for some reason. We don't know why. We know that sorcerers are hated in this world. But why Zagon specifically? We'll find out next time. Hey, but if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.